Todd McFarlane has been talking about rebooting Spawn as a movie franchise for quite some time now. I think he first mentioned in an interview back in uh, 2009. If you're unfamiliar with Spawn, here he is as Santa Claus. Hey, it's me, Spawn of Claus. I've got a bag full of skulls and rats for you kids. Uh, Max, Spawn was like the most, what? Why would he want to reboot Spawn? The movie was perfect. The movie had nothing wrong with it. Um, no, but he's, uh, he's kind of, it's weird because that, that was a superhero movie that kind of came out during like the nadir of superhero films. Yeah. Like, that came out the same summer as Batman and Robin. Like, yeah. That is not a good superhero movie. And it was also, it, it came out at a time when people weren't really asking for like dark and gritty you know, comic book movies. I mean, comic well, book nerds were, but... Uh, it was sort of like post-Tim Burton Batman, pre-Christopher uh, Nolan Batman. Yeah. The, the dark ages of comic book films. Yeah, and it's it's just sort of an, sort of an odd character um, to, to try to, you know, put into a superhero movie because he's a, basically a servant of Satan who lives with a bunch of homeless people in an alleyway. He's uh, also an incredibly highly animated character, and that's not so easy to do with a very low budget. Yeah, so uh, McFarlane's been talking about doing this as, like, a... Kind of a reboot, kind of a kind of a new almost horror movie, uh, and he's got a couple new quotes that I thought I'd, I'd read because they're they're really interesting, uh, just to give a sense of what he wants to do with the tone of the film. Uh, he said, first of all, in the background, there's this thing moving around, this boogeyman. That boogeyman just happens to be something that you and I intellectually know is Spawn. Will he look like he did in the first movie? No. Will he have a supervillain he fights? No. He's going to be the Spectre, the Ghost. Weird. And he goes on to say, it's not a comic book movie, it's just a scary movie, a creepy movie. Everything's real except for one element, which happens to be the character we know as Spawn. So it's not going to be supervillain versus superhero or any of that stuff. It's just going to be a tight movie. I think this is the coolest way you could do a Spawn movie. I like that a lot. Um, I think he's actually talked about comparing, like, comparing it to Jaws, except instead of a shark, it's... This guy? Yeah, he said I, Spawn is his Jaws, which I was like, I, I'm not really sure how to take that, but I think it's really interesting. Uh, the way he's pitching this sounds completely different than the way you would pitch pretty much any other comic book. Yeah, movie. I mean, it'd be really cool if it was something like the Mothman Prophecies, but yep. with like with Spawn, or um, I mean, he's just any kind of horror movie where you're not really sure if this is like a villain or is this like a, this is sort of this phantom element. I mean, mm -hmm. he's almost like a yeah, he's like a boogeyman. And so uh, is it like the movie Jeepers Creepers? Where, I don't know. Like, there's I mean, teenagers and maybe, a haystack and maybe a the ghost? I mean, Spawn wouldn't go around killing teenagers, I don't think. But it'd no. be kind of cool if it's like a crime movie at the ground level. But there's like, I mean, imagine the Punisher. But if you didn't know who the hell the Punisher was, you know, like he's taken out like you know, government people, and I don't know, like, so Spawn's backstory is kind of convoluted. Yeah, I was going to ask you, give, give us a really quick rundown of who this character is. Like, who, who owns this pro this property? So this probably. is the, kind of, one of the flagship Image Comics superheroes, whatever you want to call them. Uh, basically, Al Simmons was a super badass CIA agent who uh, got double-crossed by his uh, his department uh, and then went to hell because he was a basically a mercenary. Mm -hmm. uh, and while he's in hell, he makes a deal with the devil to get superpowers and go back to Earth as a hell spawn. Uh, and so he's got all these crazy powers. He's basically, if you really want to look at who he is, he's pretty much a cross between Ghost Rider, Venom, and basically any Marvel character who had a bunch of guns in the late 80s, early 90s. I and like he's that. basically got Doctor Strange's cape. Uh, except the cape is sort of alive and he can like kill people with it and stuff. Now, in the 90s movie, they did try a sort of good versus evil thing where he fought John Leg Leguizamo's character who was a clown yeah, in the, hell. Yeah, the clown is like... I don't, I don't know what you do with that. Like, the clown is, like, this sort of guy who shows up, and he's, like, I think they, they were kind of sort of pre-insane clown posse. They were like, yeah, spooky clowns are perfect. And it was, like, he was, like, this sort of, he was, like, his uh, kind of nemesis slash, like, babysitter. Like, yeah. he, was, he was sort of a, a, the guy who, who comes along from Mel Bolger or Satan or whatever, and he's like, hey, uh, you got you to gotta go do this stuff or whatever. I mean, it's, I've, it's been a million years since I read that stuff, and it also, it's... The spawn is still running. It's still a comic that's right. around. Uh, I have no idea what's happened in the last probably 20 years because I've it, read a bunch of early stuff. But. Which is interesting because it's like the, I feel like the spawn we grew up with is very different than the one that even Todd McFarlane's trying to move away from it nowadays. Uh, right now, like we, what we can say is there's no concept art for this character. I mean, just based on whatever the comics are doing right now. There's no, uh, there's no like production schedule for this movie or anything like that. Yeah. This is all sort of pie in the sky stuff right now. Pretty but much, I like, I mean, I like the way he's, he's sort of like honing it in. Yeah, I think Spawn, or not Spawn, uh, Todd McFarlane did say he's got a script in the works and it's like, it's really long right now but he's trying to whittle it down. But like, like imagine if this is a movie where, imagine Alien, but instead of a bunch of guys in space who are being like greedy, it's a bunch of like government employees mm -hmm. or it's a bunch of crooked cops. And they're all you're kind of like you're kind of following them, but there's this thing in the shadows that's like taking them out one by one. Yeah. Except you're sort of rooting for it because they're all jerks. Like there's no there's no heroic Ripley in that situation. Yep. I mean, imagine this would basically be like a you know a, a Nolan Batman movie, except it's told from Gordon's perspective. Yeah. 
So you know? in the meantime, if you want to see something Spawn related that's actually pretty cool and in motion, you can go back and check the original HBO show, which yes. is like really gritty. Yep. It sort of like was like HBO's answer to Batman the Animated Series, but with Spawn. It was also if that if that came out like in kind of Adult Swim uh, late night anime era, yeah, like that would have been way more successful. But it was also yep. like it was HBO made an adult oriented animated series with like gore and swearing and boobs in it. It was like. It's really nuts, and that's streaming online if you you know track it down. So, so yeah, uh, we'll keep our ears open for the Spawn movie. Uh, I, I don't even think it has, to, it has to be something that comes to theaters. It could go to Netflix, Amazon Prime, anything you want. There's so many different places for uh, an idea like that to land yeah. these days. So cool. yeah, it's a good time to be alive. <laughs> <laughs>